this video we're going to take a look at the delete command. And the delete command is pretty self-explanatory. Delete command is going to remove information from your database. So one of the things to remember about using things like delete or update or insert is that Oracle is a transactional database, which means things aren't gone immediately or updated or inserted immediately when you hit the return button. Um, Oracle holds things into transactions and there's something that you have to do called a commit before any of the changes that you make inside your database are actually permanent. So uh, one of the things that we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at some of the transactions that go along with the, the delete statement so that even if you do do a delete that you didn't mean to do, the data isn't necessarily gone immediately. Uh, you can get that information back uh, before you actually wipe it out from the database. I'm going to spend more time on transactions in a transaction video that I'm going to post soon, but for now just understand that it takes two phases to actually delete something from the database. There's also another command that you have to be aware of. It's called truncate, and truncate goes through and wipes out all the data in a particular table. That is not a two-phase commit. That is not where you have to actually have a second statement to actually commit the information. As soon as you type truncate and your table name, that data is gone. So you have to remember to be very careful when you're using the, the truncate command. But it can make it real easy for you when you want to uh, clear out a, a table and get all the rows out of it. One of the really important things that goes along with the delete command is obviously the WHERE clause. Uh, we mentioned in the other uh, the video that we created in terms of the insert statement that the insert is the only one of the four major commands that doesn't have a WHERE clause associated with it. <coughs> delete obviously does have the WHERE clause associated with it, and it's going to be really important to construct your WHERE clause carefully so that you don't delete the wrong amount of data from your database. So I'll take a look at that. You can run the delete statement without a WHERE clause, but obviously if you do that, everything is going to be deleted. You're not specifying any subset of the data. So if I say delete from and the table name, it's going to delete all the records from a table. Uh, the WHERE clause is obviously going to give me a lot of flexibility in terms of what I want to actually delete. And we have a bunch of clauses that go along with the WHERE clause, like AND and OR, and uh, there's a whole bunch more that go along with this. Uh, I have a video on the WHERE clause that shows you some of the really cool things that you can do with it. And we're going to have a couple of advanced videos coming up that also talks about some of the advanced things you can do with the WHERE clause. And that is applicable to the DELETE statement, the INSERT statement, the SELECT statement, anything that's out there. So let's hop over into SQL Developer now and take a look at this music table that I've been working with through all my videos up to this point. And you can see that I have a whole bunch of uh, artists that have been added to this music table that have a whole bunch of information uh, related to the actual album, given it a rating. Some of them uh, don't have rating values. <coughs> There's a whole bunch of different things that we have out there. So let's work with the delete statement. And let's say I want to uh, delete everything that has a rating less than 5. So in this particular example, uh, we would have a couple of rows. Let's say I want to clean out my music collection. Anything that uh, I've deemed as not a very good album, I'm going to wipe out. So how would I go about doing that? Well, let's go into our worksheet here. And we could say delete from. We're going to specify the table that we're going to delete from. HR Music. Again, if I don't specify a WHERE clause, and if I ran this command, everything would just be gone. It would wipe out all of the r r rows for my particular table. So usually I don't want to do something like that. Usually I want to have some kind of WHERE clause on there. So I'm going to have WHERE rating is less than 5. Execute that command. It deleted three rows. Let's go back into music now. I haven't updated the screen yet, but what are the rows that it deleted? Well, it deleted this one sometime in New York City, Wildlife by Paul McCartney and Metal Machine Music from Lou Reed. If I refresh this, those three guys are going to be gone. If you notice that it didn't delete the null ratings, the null ratings here, you would think, okay, well, that's a zero, right? It's less than five. We're going to wipe it out. Well, null really doesn't mean zero. It really means a non-value. So it's I can't do any kind of arithmetic operations on it. I can't say equal to or less than or greater than or anything like that. Uh, there's are just the values that uh, are not specified. So I can't really say it's less than 5 and expect these guys to be deleted. But it did delete the rows that had ratings that were less than 5. They're not really gone out of the database yet. I haven't committed the transaction. 
So I have not committed this transaction here where I deleted everything. And again, I'm going to spend more time on my transactional video talking about how to set up transactions. But one thing I can do is say, oh, I didn't really want to do that. I can roll back the transaction. Once I click roll back, all of those guys, the three um, albums that had a rating less than five are going to come back. So here if I go into music again and I do a refresh, you can see that they're not really gone. They're, they're still there. But if I were to execute that statement here, let me execute it again. It says three rows deleted, and then I commit the transaction, then they really are gone inside my database. But again, we'll talk more about transactions in the transactional video. Be careful of the truncate command. Again, if I said truncate HR music, and I executed that guy, what would it do? It would go out and it would wipe out all the data. It would leave the, the, the table itself intact with all the columns and primary keys and indexes and everything like that, but all the data would be gone. There is no rollback from a truncate command. Once you truncate it, it really is just completely gone out of the system and you would have to recover your database if you need to go and get your information back. So you've got to be real careful using that command. I'm also not limited, I'm going to wipe that out so I don't execute it by accident, I'm also not limited to just having one WHERE clause here. I can have ANDs and ORs and I can do a whole bunch of really interesting things that are associated with this. So let's say I want to delete everything uh, where rating is less than 5 and you know what, all of these uh, temp titles in here, I don't, I don't want to keep that inside my database, I'm going to wipe all of that out also. So I can say AND, or I can say sorry, OR title is equal to temp. So what's going to happen when I execute this command? Well, whoops, uh, I didn't want to do that. Come on. Looks like I moved these guys around and I didn't want to do that. Darn it. So what's going to happen when I execute this? It's going to delete all of the, the three albums that I had out there that had a rating less than five or that had the title equal to temp, which is another four. So if I execute this guy, well, it says four rows deleted because I didn't roll back my transactions. So let me roll back all the transactions and then delete this guy again. And you can see now there's seven rows deleted, right? The three that fit this criteria and the four that fit this criteria. So we had seven rows deleted altogether. Again, I'm going to roll it back because I don't really want to delete those. So you have to be careful using or. If I said and, both of these criteria would have to be met. So I don't have anything that fits both of these. So if I try to run this command, what is it going to say? It's going to say no rows deleted because nothing fits it. But if I go back to my OR and I execute it again, there's the seven rows. Again, I'm going to roll this back because I don't want to don't want to actually go through and delete those guys. And we'll have all of that information there. So the delete command, you can see, is pretty straightforward. Just like the insert command, it's probably not something you're going to run on a regular basis as a SQL developer or as a DBA. Uh, you may have to go in there and manipulate data a little bit. So it's, un uh, it's important to understand uh, how the command works and the actual syntax that goes along with it. But for the most part, you're probably manipulating data using insert and deletes and everything like that through some kind of application, like a forms application or a JDeveloper application. But hopefully this video gave you a better insight as to how uh, the different parameters go that go along with the delete statement can be useful for you.